just waiting for the marshal there to clear the fairway. You know, Val, I think it's an interesting point, too. I mean, this, she's going for her fourth consecutive win. <laughs> what, what does winning take out of you mentally? I mean, it's got to be tough to week in and week out be in the hunt. Well, I got to tell a little story on her. I actually had dinner with her, or lunch with her yesterday. And I said, what did you do after you got your win in, in uh, Mexico? Did you go out with your friends and party? And she said, no, I just went and saw my sister. She just got married. We talked all about her honeymoon and went through the pictures. She said, but I don't think I realized how tired I was. Yesterday she had a pro-am shotgun start at 7.30 and woke up at 7 o'clock. And she said she was more nervous trying to get to, to the golf course to make her tea time than she was to get in the Hall of Fame in the last round in Mexico. I will tell you, she looked a little harried yesterday morning trying to find her group. Let's take a look at this swing where all that power is generated. Oh, just a beautiful address position. Great posture. Fantastic extension. Look at her left arm. Now, what she has fought in past years is being long and across the line. It is still a little bit in that direction, but nothing the way it used to be. Holds her head back maybe just a little bit too long, but what she does better than anybody else is trust the golf swing that she has and it repeats. And now Paul.